Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to market your products on Pinterest. First thing, you want to launch the Pinterest app. Let's say in this example we are trying to market our product which in this example will be watches. Let's say we have a bunch of vintage Seiko watches and we want to sell the watches through the Pinterest. First of all, you, you gotta do your own research and due diligence, right? You wanna click on Seiko on the search bar and then you wanna click on the top left side where you see the additional settings. Here you wanna click on the actual products. We don't wanna watch videos, boards and profiles. Let's see what kind of Seiko products are currently on the market and what are the prices, how people structure their posts and we can see are there any sales because remember if you see listings but you don't see any reviews or ratings this means that this particular item did not have any sales as you can see over here we have a bunch of different listings for example let's take a look at this one this is coming from chrono right we all know chrono 24 not much of a of explanation very very simple uh no sale on this particular one let's find something that already got attention and something that already got sale if you scroll over here if you if you can see most of the pictures are not professional most of the pictures are very genuine so i, I guess this is the goal over here this is the way how they can actually reach out to the broader audience so this for example over here if you see it comes with the actual tag. Let's see where they're actually selling it. When you click on additional details, again, this is Chrono 24. On the previous examples I showed you, right, a lot of the products were actually listed on eBay. This is very interesting. And I presume seeing that all these people are actually listing their items on the same website, you may have guessed that you see, there's a bunch of Etsy listings over here. Let's take a look at this seller. Okay, so now, as we see over here, this seller includes much more description, much more information. This is definitely uh, helpful, considering that this person is ranking much better than other listings. Especially considering this particular model. I haven't seen this model before, but... Uh, as you can see, everything, especially if you're selling internationally, Etsy probably is the way to go. But let's let's take a look even even more models over here. You want to make sure that you have all the necessary data so you can compete appropriately, right? So we saw a bunch of different uh, individual sellers. Now we're looking at a store with over 108,000 followers. So they're selling this particular watch let's take a look what their description looks like so they simply input the description from the actual page let's take a look at here not much of a description but having this large audience over here uh, indicates that the pictures are actually the most important part not the description let's create our own listing for this example i downloaded already an image uh, from google of Seiko watch right and as we saw we can include the model we can say that this is a Seiko men's watch this is a general description then we can go down and simply include the actual sizing right we can include that this is 36 millimeter for example then you can include that you know box and papers included right then you can say that you know automatic and all the details that are relevant to your watch don't include something that is not relevant and what is not usually part of the description of the watch because as we saw all the listings on the platform here are very targeted they don't include stuff that are simply coming from Wikipedia, the story or, or the history of Seiko or the history of this model. You presume that, uh, remember, there is a particular limitation on the number of characters you can use in the description here. So you want to be very specific. And like I mentioned, the photos have to be very, very good. Doesn't mean professional, it just means a good quality. 
people have to be able to see if you look at our picture people are able to see absolutely everything of the watch the size the bracelet the bezel uh, everything is here the dial so this is very very important the last step that you want to focus again is don't forget to include hashtags related to your particular listing in our case we have seiko and we have watches and i saw additional hashtag that looks very very good watches for men right because they could be a bunch of watches out there last thing is you want to copy and paste the link from the actual website or hosting agent you're using copy and paste the link over here and hopefully you're going to get much more sales there is something i'm gonna give you for the last thing is over here advanced settings the last function essentially this will give you the the capability you know to not allow any comments if you want to right uh, because they could be bots they could be spams they could be a lot of people you know saying don't buy it you know from here uh, you know on amazon is cheaper or something like this you can prevent this happening uh, also you know you can actually include uh, shopping recommendations this means that people can actually shop products similar to what is shown on the pin if you have a multiple seiko watches and if you have this actually toggle in this means that there is a chance for pinterest to promote different watches from your store or from your page to other users so you might actually have a additional sales at the end look at these sneakers over here people are selling a custom air jordan sneakers okay we can speculate how they actually end up with this product but guess what if you know that there is a market for customization you can simply go out there find someone who is actually into coloring painting shoes clothes right and you can buy the plain air jordan you can pay the person to customize the shoes take a pictures and publish it and guess what you can do the same exact business model with any product you can go and find somebody who is doing engraving right you can buy a nice bow pants a plain uh, silver metal stainless steel right you can buy a bulk of these pants and you can offer engraving right you can buy the pants for uh, 50 cents on a dollar and you can find somebody to do a 50 cents engraving and there you have it you got the one dollar cost acquisition on your product and you can charge for 9.99 who's not gonna buy a ball pen for 9.99 right with a custom engraving don't forget you're gonna be charging shipping so on and so forth but this is just an example over here guys i want you to look that they're charging for this particular sneakers over here almost 250 dollars okay very very interesting when you actually scroll down you will see that there are other people who are doing something similar we all know if you go on the actual nike website they will offer you a customization on some of the shoes right uh, but they're not gonna offer you something like this just look at these pairs over here right this looks crazy looks insane somebody really put a lot of work and you see the prices are all the same and if they're here guess what a lot of people are actually shopping stuff like this a lot of people are into stuff like this so i want you to think about what custom item or custom service you can provide or you know someone that could provide and i want you to connect the dots i want you to find the product plain and simple find the service that will customize the product then i want you to order or make a sample take a nice very high quality pictures and then i want you to come over here and publish it because if you look people are doing crazy stuff look at these shoes these shoes probably were simple plain nike air jordan and people just customize it like crazy right and there is a huge market around this we all know there are a lot of people who are actually you know just buying the shoes and just keeping the shoes at home it's like a painting like a work of art they're not using the shoes look at look at what's what's happening over here the prices are crazy you see this for 720 dollars and this is coming from Nike, okay? You see the other, you see people selling it on Poshmark. People have their own landing pages. There's a major, major 
interest and demand for shoes like this. Customization everywhere. So I want you to think about customizable item that you could have, right? Like I mentioned, pens, notebooks, you can offer, like in the previous video, I shared with you how somebody is actually sending a thick notebook uh, with a leather cover and with emboss. If you can offer, you know, some crazy embossing design, something nice, uh, and, you know, you can source the, the notebooks, give uh, a very good cost basis, and then you can simply compete straight with any other uh, seller here on the platform. You can customize absolutely everything. So I want you to think about what you can customize, uh, who will customize it for you if you're not so artistic. I want you to think about or look someone who can actually give you a good price. There are plenty of people with a lot of skills. They can draw, they can, they can create designs, they can emboss, they can do embroideries, they can do uh, engravings. I want you to think about the particular process of customization and I want you to create a sample and then start publishing a lot of pictures, high quality pictures, and let's see what is going to happen. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to promote your business using Pinterest. Pinterest is a different platform, guys, so different things are working. It's not just your average shorts or average post. Let me show you what I even mean. I found out this particular commercial over here while I was scrolling. Do you see this small, like an iPad setup with an iPhone, everything black setup, right? You might be thinking these guys are selling either, you know, covers or they're selling uh, probably a setup kit or they're selling, you know, some of these like uh, arrangements. When you click on it, you will find out that these people are actually selling a program, right? They're selling tube monetization and automation program so essentially the idea over here is that you could market your product in a way in which it's not obvious what you're selling but it's obvious what people are going to click on people who are going to click on on this particular ad are people into tech people who are more or less savvy people who want to learn more about either apple ipads or they simply love gadgets so I don't know why they picked this, but you, as you may have guessed, might not agree that this is the best picture to attract attention for people who are interested in buying a program, right? But guess what? The success story over here is that they made us to click and to learn more about their product or service, right? Very important over here, guys. There are other people who are using similar strategy but they're most likely making much more money what i'm even saying if you look at over here look at this portable ipad setup this is what you expect to have as a sales pitch or sales offer when you click on a picture that represents an ipad setup something that we saw in the previous image right what is the likelihood of getting conversion on this picture versus the previous picture it's much higher simply because you have all of these products underneath listed you have all the people in the community that are most likely interested in purchasing any of those also you want to pay attention to the actual description and metadata we have the setup for the ipad we have ipad pro and essentially when you go over here it's funny as it sounds the same guy that promotes the automation program is popping up over here, but <laughs> it's not selling the actual accessories, right? So this one I'm trying to highlight over here, guys. You want to make sure that you really target the right audience with the right content. Don't try just to clickbait people, you know, giving them expectations of you're selling A, but you're essentially selling B. Uh, don't let people to think that you have, you know, uh, this particular product on stock or sell on this particular product and while you're selling something completely different. This will make people to click off and this will send a very strong message to the Pinterest algorithm and will simply push your uh, content down. So make sure, point number one, always use relevant pictures, always use relevant 
associations with your product or service that you're selling. Uh, for example, for this guy, I'm going to give you like a brief, uh, you know, setup. If you're really selling a program, he could simply, you know, uh, put a small picture of a contract, right? Like a, like a, uh, you know, drawing of a contract. And you could say, uh, you know, learn how to make X amount of money by taking this course or taking this program. And that's it. You know, people who are into learning online and making money, they will join. They will follow you. They will look at your stuff. Probably they're going to click on the course. They will look the the chapters, right? The whole description. And this is how you get higher conversion rate. For more tips and tricks like this, guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi, guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make money on Pinterest. There are a couple of new strategies with the recent update that not so many people are familiar with. So you want to make sure that you take advantage of this. Let's launch the Pinterest app first. So guys, I want you to treat Pinterest like uh, TikTok, but without videos. Okay, I want you to think about what TikTok would have looked like if people were only posting pictures and scrolling up or down. Okay, why? Because remember, the main reason why people are still using Instagram is because they're publishing a lot of pictures, right? And people here on Pinterest are using amazing photos, amazing pictures, even for dropshipping, even for knockouts, replica items that look like something that you think it is, right? So the pictures and the representation of the products that you're selling is the most important. Just look at over here, this, look at the carpet, look at this carpet over here, right? So this is simply a representation of, of what they're selling, okay? Essentially, they're selling a rug. And this representation, if it was just a plain white background with the picture of the rug, you're not going to buy, not going to click it. I'm, I'm never going to click it, okay? But the main point is that they find a way for me, you know, to get interested, for me to click and look and, you know, try to find out. I'm not using rugs at all. I'm not into Nikes or, you know, Jordans. I'm not collecting any shoes. So I'm nowhere near to their target audience. But they got me to click. This is what I was trying to explain to you. When you look at Pinterest, you want to make sure that, like I said, you're putting out extreme creativity when you actually creating your sales pitch or your pictures. Okay. Some people now are trying to, uh, you know, publish videos. Videos are not doing well on Pinterest. Uh, as you can see over here, some other cool ideas, right? You look at this. They don't sell the, the hoodie. They don't sell the, the, the jogger. The only thing that they sell over here is the shoes. And guess what? The way how they represent the listing, it's what gets me to click. If I just saw this plain white background, it looks like a Nike's website is trying to sell me something. I'm not into, you know, not into buying a shoes right now, not into Nike's high tops, right? But it's just the representation of the way how the lead post, you know, adjusted to the regular feed. It's amazing, right? It's just, this is your edge over here. A lot of people are still trying to, uh, you know, skim the game, trying to uh, download pictures from other people, reuse the same photos, reuse the same content, reuse the same creatives. But it doesn't work like that anymore, guys. You got to be very creative. You might be selling the same product. Like they might be a thousand sellers on Pinterest selling the same exact product. For example, the this particular rug, right? But everyone will have a different picture. And the ones with the, with the best picture, not with the best price, with the best picture, with the best representation will be the one who will be making the most sales. And now I want you to think and apply the same exact strategy into your business. Whatever business it is, you might be into spa, nails, you know, you might be writing like ebooks, like mentorship programs, you might be selling courses. Anything that you are doing, you should sit down, study the competition, and try to reinvent not only the competition, but reinvent yourself. This is how you're going to make the most money on Pinterest, guys. For more tips and tricks like this, subscribe and come back for more. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to promote your business on Pinterest and how you can make a lot of money simply because none of the other platforms can offer you this opportunity over here.
look at what I found today. Scrolling through the feed, looking for nothing as usual. Look at this. So first thing, when I saw the picture and I saw the price, 229, I was thinking, okay, cool, I know this, this model, right, of, of Nike, Air Jordan, I know that model. But then I was looking through the different photos and then I realized that that's not the actual color, right? I saw that the shades are different. And if you look at closely, you will see that the, the, the paint looks like it's not, it's not evenly spread it around the edges. Anyway, I figured it out that this is not what I was thought it is, right? And then I read the description and it says custom blue, black, white Jordan, high quality. And they also show you how this looked like before. Okay, this is how it looked like before, just a regular plain white Jordan. And they can essentially color, make it uh, customizable. They can color it for you. They can, they can put different, uh, uh, you know, elements. And the small part here is that the idea is brilliant. The idea that you can get a plain product and make it, uh, you know, customizable from a popular brand. We're not talking about you're, you're getting like a like a no brand $20 shoes on the street and then you start painting and try to sell it for 50, right? I'm talking about you buying a, a plain Air Jordan or plain Air Max and then you can customize it. It is a very good idea, guys. And I know this model, this model, I think retail it's over $300. This is why the guy has placed this 229. But don't get me wrong, this is a handmade work. Of course, it will be pricey. Now, I want you to think about what you could do personally, manually, customizably, right, for other people, and what do you think they're willing to pay you for? That's a good question. Because remember, at the end of the day, everything that you could provide as a service or knowledge that other people can't, it's your advantage and you can charge a premium for it. What I'm even saying, okay, let's go. Click on the search and let's do handmade custom anything. Okay, and then don't lose your time. Click on the small button that you filter the actual uh, content by products. Let's filter by products. Let's not lose our time with anything else. Okay, so as you can see, somebody else is selling another custom Air Jordan. This looks very, very good, guys. Again, 189. People do make money with all that stuff, huh? Remember, if you see a lot of offers from the same product, obviously there is a demand, right? These people will not be sitting around covering shoes without making money. Somebody else here is selling what? A controller, keypad, handboy, truck, okay? That looks cool. Again, somebody did that, you know? Everything starts with an idea. Look at this drip over here. Not not my not my cup of coffee but still it's interesting is somebody else is offering this uh portraits right family pictures on on like a like a crystal <clears throat> photo like a bow i don't know it looks cool people are very very talented guys look at these shoes crazy right crazy how people can actually make all that stuff but you see, if I didn't show you that, you probably, you probably would never, you know, thought that this is actually possible. Look at this bad boy. Looks crazy, man. People are extremely talented. That's what I, I was trying to tell you guys. You want to focus and you, you want to make something that is unique. And when people see it, to be like, wow, to be so exciting, right? You don't want to just copy and and pay someone else's work without any uh, you know insights from your own just look how how people are actually first of all they're enjoying what they're doing right and second looks like they're making good money i don't know what what are the the sales ratio the selling on etsy obviously like uh but this is like a graffiti type of style let me know what do you guys think and of course let me know what is uh, what is your skill? Do you have any skill that you can offer to customize someone else's products 
and make a lot of money on Pinterest. For more tips and tricks like this guys, subscribe and follow for more. Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to use Pinterest to promote your business. Any business could be promoted and Pinterest work much better than Facebook and TikTok combined. Let me show you a couple of different businesses that are currently promoting themselves which usually have nothing to do with each other. So first thing that you want to see over here, we do have a creamy broccoli pasta. You maybe wonder, okay, so are they selling the recipe? Are they having a blog post or simply this is a restaurant commercial? Well, if you come over here, you will see that they are selling actually a cookbook, okay? The cozy cookbook is here, order now. The best way is that they are actually creating a blog post with the recipe. So you're going to read the blog post and you might be not into pasta, but you might be into cooking. So they, they, they just target you absolutely straight off the point. And this is one type of business. So next step over here, somebody else actually is giving you like a beauty lifestyle, like a coaching stuff. You see how to keep your clean home every day, every week, weekly, seasonally, monthly. Okay, so you might be thinking, okay, what's that? Let's click read it, right? When you click on that, you're going to another blog post. You see a bunch of uh, hashtags over here. They're monetizing completely different function. And they also, you see running ads and they're also having this, I don't know, looks like a, like a cleaning supplies or uh, like a bundle for maintaining healthy lifestyle or healthy home. So this is second different example over here. We're talking about uh, businesses that have been started from home, maintained from home, most likely operate from home. So anyone can promote what they're currently doing. And this is not only for the little guy uh, app. As you can see over here on the site, we have a target running a promotion for selling Xbox. Uh, we're having people over here who are into, you know, traveling, as you can see over here four seasons on the upper left they're promoting and running out they want you to travel they want you to visit they want you to uh, you know buy into their hotel chain their services the traveling experience okay everything it's it's very easy to do it and you know some people obviously selling courses over here they're selling how to uh, you know stuff how to start a business as you can see over here somebody is actually reselling items right and essentially any business could be promoted. The most important part is to choose the right funnel, the right way to get the viewer to click on the picture. And then the harder part, which is to get them to click from the picture towards your landing page. This is how you can promote your business on Pinterest and it's much easier, uh, much better. Again, free of charge, you don't need to run ads for it. For more videos like this guys, subscribe and like this video. Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can actually market your products or services on Pinterest and create a very unique marketing strategy that could outperform any other competitor on the platform. First thing we want to launch the Pinterest and I want you to take your time and look around how these people are essentially coming up over here and how they are promoting their products, their services in a way in which you know, there are plenty of images that I can simply keep scrolling and I'm not going to pay any attention to it. While some images will make you to click. They will stop you scrolling. Okay, the stop scrollers. So what I'm even talking about. Okay, for example, if you come over here, you know, this image, for example, what is it, right? Keep this dog shampoo cues feeds, right? This is a very interesting quote. So if you actually go read it, you find out that this is how these people have been making a lot of money, okay? So the first time they published this one was in 2018 and it was updated in September 2023. So obviously these people are making a lot of money. How? It's obvious. Well, why would you come five years after the original post you're going to update it simply because this is a money printing article. But the idea over here is that maybe there are hundreds of thousands of different people who are selling the same shampoo or are selling similar products or they're, you know, targeting the same dog, uh, you know, audience. 
But what makes the difference is that I click on this, right? I didn't click on anything else. So this is what caught my attention. This is what I meant by saying, this is what I meant by saying, you can actually create your own marketing strategy that will outperform any other competitor. This is why I meant by saying that you have to craft everything that will make the other competitors look funny, right? Uh, very interesting also is that you don't always have to show the product, okay? Sometimes you have to give something for free, okay? So, for example, look, this is uh, petlab.com commercial, okay? So, they're showing something that is very, very educational. It doesn't look like they're selling you anything. It simply looks like, oh, how you can notice if something is is no is wrong with the, with the bow of the dog, right? And when you click on it, Free. they're discolored or moist. Essentially, they will you will be forward to another page where uh, you're probably gonna end up looking into their product line, and you might be end up buying something. Out of hundred people, I don't know how many people would be proceeding because all of the audience will be people with dogs. Uh, if you don't have a dog, why would you click on that, right? This is what I'm even trying to explain. So the two ways you can actually approach the situation. First of all, you can. Present the product in an amazing, unique way and get the audience come to your website. Or you can give a free content, free knowledge, no, no sales pitch, no product, no prices, no nothing. Give them something for free and then they're going to come after you. For more videos like this, guys, subscribe and like this video. Hi, guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you should and you can create a pin on Pinterest in a way in which you will be able to reach maximum audience with free traffic. Let's launch the Pinterest app first and I want you to pay very close attention to the way how we approach the situation. So let's say for example we are going to post something about dogs, right? First we want to search how the competition actually do the stuff and then we're going to filter over here by by products okay then you want to click view results we're not going to lose our time with a regular piece of content we're going to look how people are structuring their post what search engine optimization they're using and how they actually present the products okay so for example let's find something more natural let's find this picture okay then you want to click so you'll be able to see how everything is structured so essentially this is the same picture that we have on pinterest this is the wall decor, okay? So this is the customization. So even on their... Okay, so they used... Okay. So now if we go back, we saw that they're using very strong search engine optimization. But if you actually see who did actually publish this one, you will take a look and you will see that they don't actually utilize the functions, as, as you can see over here, for hashtags. But the description that was on the product is the description that is in the actual feed. Just go on the product and you will see the Etsy description is the Etsy description is actually item details. Learn more about it. So the Etsy description is the same as the description on the actual Pinterest. So this is how we're gonna go about. In our case, we are going to post a random image, but you're gonna see how to apply the same strategy. Let's hit the plus sign at the lower center of the screen. Then click pin. Over here, I'm going to select this Ferrari. Okay. And now you can click on the pen button on the image itself. So you can adjust the stuff. You can include the music. It's the same editing functions that you're usually going to see on uh, Instagram Reels. Okay. Nothing special. But this is simply if you want to create engagement through the actual uh, content if you want a high rank over here let's say for example we're running a dealership okay and we want people to show up and to do the test drive new ferrari monza just landed okay and then you want to take them uh go ahead you know go ahead and book your test drive before 
the spots filled up okay so did you see what we did and we're going to include uh ferrari right or something shorter something like test or like driving remember this is just remember this is just the title over here now things will be moving down and here we will be able essentially to you know look and tag ferrari if they appear over here uh, some brands appear some some brands doesn't okay and you want to say you know check out uh check out the newest uh sport car masterpiece and then you wanna you know put some information how they can reach out to you and then you can include the hashtags that we talk about it okay so you can see the ferrari and then this is where you're gonna paste the link so you're gonna go on your uh, website you're gonna take the link either from your uh, website or you're gonna take the particular link from the car uh, you know the best case is always to get the same link from the same listings from the same product that you're picturing in but sometimes you don't right some businesses cannot take picture of everything that they have so paste the link over here uh, and then essentially you want to click create you don't want to mess around with pick a board because making it very extremely niche is reducing the potential audience and free traffic to your listing for more videos like this guys subscribe and like this video in this video guys i'm going to show you how you can delete your pinterest account very easy very simple let's launch the pinterest app first the first thing that you want to do guys you want to click on the upper on the lower right corner and you see there is a small profile picture you want to click on it then you want to click on the upper right and the three dots then when you're over here guys all you gotta do is to click settings and when you're over here you want to click on the second option which is account management when you have the account management tool you're simply going to be able to scroll to the uh, last section which is delete your data and account this is very important because you will be able simply to delete everything that you previously posted if you're not sure that you want to delete your account there is another option above which is deactivate account this simply will hide your post and your profile but you'll be able to come back and restore your account and restore your pins and restore your content and data so definitely guys you do have two options over here if you're not sure what you really want to do for more videos like this guys subscribe and like this video hi guys in this video i'm going to show you how you can use affiliate marketing to make a lot of money on pinterest it is very easy and i'm going to show you how other people are doing it let's launch the pinterest app over here so first thing you want to pay very close attention you don't necessarily have to sell physical products with affiliate marketing you can sell digital products as well you can sell as you can see over here somebody is like promoting uh, vitamin cheat sheet right it could be some lessons it could be some uh you know tips some program some methodology right something that is unique but it's in digital format so for example let's say you want to promote some of these guys right if you click more then you want to see that they prefer essentially to not include the link over here but if you click read it the link will appear under or somewhere around the article do you see that just look at this i haven't checked this one but you see on top over here it says post contains affiliate links so there is two ways you can go about it you can do a funnel like these people which means you just post a picture or something useful for free on pinterest and people click on it and people want to read more more about it and they end up you know checking the links inside the article this is the the, the proposition the scenario number one scenario number two is simply you come over here and you show something and the link is right over here right you come over here and then you just swipe 
and the link will be right over here so other people will also put the link somewhere underneath right so this is what what makes the big difference can you do a funnel without using the the sales pitch in the actual content do you see that that's what i'm talking about so see 20 ways to use dao dish soap but then there is no swipe or something but you see inside the description they put their website so this is the three ways you can approach the affiliate marketing situation pick up the product physical or digital okay and then come over here and look what other people who are selling the same product have the most success with are they selling the actual product with the pricing with the promotion here or they're providing free content and there is a link associated in the description or there is a link built inside the post itself study these guys test and see which one works best for you for more videos like this guys subscribe and like this video